You know, religion has always been the great pacifier of the people because religion always gave you an out, basically a get out of hell free card. But it's no longer working that way anymore. You see, a lot of our religious leaders, they've decided to back someone that is anything but religious for leading this country down a path of destruction. And now we have the explosion of pro-Palestinian protests across the United States. And some may say, well, why is this happening? Well, maybe some of these folks actually cracked open their Bible and took a look at what it said. One of the things it says is, and Jesus said this, what you do to the least of these, you do to me. Well, I would say the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip are the least of these. And what are we doing to them? We're killing them. Some may say, well, no, Israel is killing them. Well, we're supporting Israel. We're sending Israel bombs that get loaded directly onto Israeli planes and dropped on Palestinian citizens. So by proxy, we're killing them. So a lot of people don't want to be part of that. And they're saying, hey, you got all these people saying we're a Christian based nation, but they don't seem to be following what's in the Christian Bible. And they're just thinking when these people go home, college classes are over, they're just going to forget about it. Well, those people carry the same emotions and sentiments no matter where they are. So I don't think it's going to end. The protests are just going to move. So with the failure of religion to quell things because people are frustrated, they're under stress, they can barely afford to make ends meet in some cases, and they want some peace now, not in the great by and by, or the afterlife, or in heaven, because some of the folks that are screaming the loudest, they're living pretty good right here on earth and don't seem to be upset at all about 30,000 plus innocent people being killed regardless of what touched off the conflict which happened on October 7, 2023 when 1,200 Israeli citizens were killed by Hamas. But sometimes there needs to be a little bit of balance in the response.